فتنس انتربرنور هي مايا نصار مايا اللي اختارتها مجله وموقع فوربس العالميه الاكثر السيدات تاثيرا بالوطن العربي بميدان الرياضه بورتري مايا بنتعرف عليها اليوم كسيده وام ورائده اعمال ومؤثره والشهره اللي نالتها حول العالم اهلا وسهلا فيك مايا شرفتينا اند ويلكم Thank you so much. And we're so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here today. Thank you very much. I was a child. I was a child. I was a child for about four or five years. And today, Maya M for four kids. God bless them. Thank you. 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 مع انه صرت نجمة عالمية شو بتقولي باختصار مين هي مايا؟ um, so I'm a business owner and an entrepreneur and the Tlati Nadi هلا وان شاء الله بدي نكبر اكثر uh, I also have an online business so wow. um, we sell online coaching and programs for pregnant women wow. and uh, I'm a specialist in fitness and also in uh, Nutrition, mm -hmm. and I have a radio show on Virgin Radio Stars. Mm. Nice. I follow you on Instagram, by the way, yeah. Maya. <laughs> While I was pregnant, I was learning from you how to do some oh, I'm so pregnancy glad to steps. Hear that. You know that uh, you were like a role model for me at uh, back that back then, and you are still. Thank you Maya, so much. How did you start with your? Um, Uh, you know, like your connection with sports, how long have you been in this domain, everything. So I used to be slightly overweight, and this is how I started my journey into fitness. Uh, What do you mean slightly overweight? Like, like not majorly overweight, oh, just okay. a little bit, not obese or I, anything. I thought like, obese. Yes, no, not obese. But I lost 20 kilos of fat, and I dropped five uh, jean sizes. And then this was how I discovered my passion for fitness. I started a blog, uh, a website, and a mobile application. And then eventually I wanted it to become a business. So I became certified in personal training and sports nutrition. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I opened my gym. And we started with one branch and then expanded to two branches. And I'm now we have... Lebanon or outside Lebanon? Lebanon. Ah, okay. Lebanon. But inshallah, Bara Lebanon come mm -hmm. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. What triggered you um, to lose 20 uh, kilos of fat? Or how can it? I, uh, I hit rock bottom. I had no self-confidence, and I didn't want to be that way. I wanted to be proud and confident and uh, to celebrate my achievements. So wow. I didn't want to look in the mirror and not like what I see. Mm. So this was my turning point. The It turning was the point, uh, jeans not fitting properly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's the problem. It's when the jeans do not fit, this yeah. is when we decide to dye it. And this they didn't even come up past oh, the knees. Wow. They like stopped at the knees. So <laughs> Okay, nice. <laughs> um, I followed you on Instagram while, as I said before, while, while I was pregnant. Uh, you uh, you have four kids and mm -hmm. you kept on doing exercises. Yes. Ma betkhafe of losing the baby or something Abadan. happening to the baby while exercising. Bil akis is a ma anna mashakel. If we don't have health complications, it's actually encouraged to exercise. There are many benefits for the mom and for the baby as mm. well. Many health benefits. And it benefits. helps for delivery. It Indeed, helps for delivery. Course. It helps you maintain your weight. It also helps after having the baby. It helps you get back into shape quicker than if you didn't exercise during pregnancy. Okay. Mm. Bad the injib, yani after pregnancy, mm -hmm. when we have these kilos left, yeah. and these that take a lot of time. Yeah. What should we do? The most important thing is the diet. Diet is 90% of your results. Mm. So you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to portion sizes. Okay. You have to eat according to your goals. And the next step is to exercise. Right. And when I say exercise, I mean a combination of both weightlifting and cardio as well. So you mean weights and cardio? Weights, weights, weights. and cardio. A lot of women are scared of lifting weights because they okay. think that they'll become... Because I just delivered six months ago, so I'm taking wow. some tips now. Me too. <laughs> I delivered as well. Nice. So weightlifting is the best way to get back into shape. It's the only way to naturally sculpt your body without needing to do surgery or mm. anything extreme. And it boosts your metabolism. It helps you burn fat. And, and your also, mental health. And your mental health, of absolutely. And also cardio. So a combination of weightlifting and cardio. Okay. And finally, consistency. 
Mm. So it's every not enough. Every day or every now and then? Uh, no, th at least three times a week, if not mm. more. Three to six times a week. I personally six? train. <laughs> I train six times a week. Keep it up, Bibne. Come on, if she has four. <laughs> Time management, exactly. I guess. Yeah, right. Time management. Mm. Yeah. You, you, can, day, like, yeah. you can exercise at home as well. It's true. Mm -hmm. I think with you, Kamina, we hey, can exercise at home. Yeah, exactly. it's nicer in the It's better uh, at the gym. Let's go and see a video for you, Maya. It's normal to be scared. Wow. It is scary. هيدا تاني حمل لك هون بس الحلو انه نذكر انه كنت عم تعملي ويت ليفتنج وي يور بريجننت يعني مش بس كارديو او مشي او رياضه انت حوالي البيت من الاول يوم للاخر يوم عملت it with weight lifting. بس كلنا بنعرف مايا انه في سم ريسكس مضبوط سو شو الادفايس تبعك Okay, uh, you shouldn't do sports that are dangerous. For example, riding a bike because you can fall off. Mm. You shouldn't play sports with balls like tennis, basketball, because yeah. the ball can cause abdominal injury. Okay. Uh, you should avoid skiing, horse riding, anything that can cause injury to the baby. Mm -hmm. However, you can do pretty much everything you were doing before pregnancy, just at a lower intensity. Mm -hmm. In the second trimester, you should avoid training your abs, not to put pressure so. on, your, mm. on your womb. Because and the belly is getting bigger and exactly, bigger with the second yeah, trimester. Not to put pressure mm. on the baby as well. And uh, you should still be able to have a conversation uh, while you're exercising. So you shouldn't be out of breath mm -hmm. that you cannot talk. You should still be able to have a conversation. Okay. But they, like my, my gynecologist, when I asked him about sports, he said, mm -hmm. Diana, if you already... Uh, a hardcore person with sports, you can continue. Mm -hmm. But if you never did sports and now you decided to do sports while you are pregnant, mm -hmm. this can cause like yeah, a course. problem for the baby. So they say if you were a hardcore sports person, you can continue with sports. Yes. If not, it's better not for you to do sports. Is this if um, your body is right used to or it, no? Right? Um, I don't want to speak against your doctor okay. as I'm not a, I'm not a gynecologist. Mm -hmm. But personally, from my personal experience, if someone is a beginner, they can and they should start exercising, but perhaps they shouldn't do very intensive, but start slowly with walking, swimming, mm. yoga, mm. light weights, including two kilos. I personally have a training program for pregnant women. Mm -hmm. I have a website for pregnant women, and I say that beginners can definitely do this program, mm -hmm. but they have to use very light weights, like one or two kilos maximum. Ah, not hardcore. Not hardcore. Mm. And if someone is more advanced, they can do up to five kilos. And, the, and they have to do safe movements for pregnancy. So but Skiff, as yani, she's already having this big belly and five kilos more up and down. Oh, it's fine. It's you can fine. do it. Yeah. Wow. yeah, it's good for the muscles, good for the metabolism. And it has so many health benefits. And it also prevents uh, health complications. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tab, as a nutritionist, what do you say moms to be? Yeah. So you should eat a diet that consists of everything, healthy fats. Many people or many women are scared to eat healthy fats, so mm -hmm. they're actually good for you and provide many benefits for you and uh, can boost your fertility. So healthy fats, protein, the lean types of protein, so fish, chicken, mm, uh, lean cuts of steak, not the fatty cuts of protein. Okay and uh, lots of fruits and vegetables and uh, healthy fats, including olive mm -hmm. oil, avocado, raw nuts, True. Uh, and of course, carbohydrates, mm -hmm. because people to are give also, energy. yes, mm. people are also scared of carbs. They think that it's going to make them gain weight or that they shouldn't eat carbs, but it's not about cutting out carbs. It's about eating the right type of carbs. True. So brown rice, mm. uh, quinoa, lentils, mm things True. like that, mm -hmm. brown okay. bread. Maya, you said there is benefits for the baby while mm -hmm. doing sports while pregnant. Yes. What do we give benefits for a baby while we are pregnant, such as? So, such as having a healthier immune system, stronger immune system, ah, nice. healthier organs, healthier heart, uh -huh. uh, better development of the brain and uh, every, all the bodily functions of the baby. Seriously? Research has actually proven that it works. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. And if we do just walking, 
like around the house or just a, a little bit That's of cardio, also that good. helps? A any type of exercise is really good. Okay. And it helps you, pre it, it prevents you from gaining too much weight. True. And too much weight gain can actually cause health problems such as diabetes, Sah. low blood pressure. Mm, true. So that's why any type of movement, any type of sports is really good for the mom and also for the baby. Okay, nice. That's all the advice, Maya. Mm -hmm. Um, and lay on, on your platforms, on, yes. on your social media, I mean. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have a page just for pregnant women called XY Pregnancy, and I post tips about pregnancy, advice, um, and things like that related okay. to pregnancy and motherhood. Mm -hmm. What and about I, the awareness? Yes. The own fee awareness, yes. uh -huh. I mean, comparing to... Uh, like Azarjana, 10 Days years, Lawara. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Mazboot. Mm. It's, my, my goal is to try and uh, raise more awareness and encourage more women in Lebanon or in the Middle East to exercise and okay. not to be afraid of exercise and to change the misconception that mm. exercise is actually uh, dangerous or will harm yeah, the baby or true. the mother. Okay. Maya, um, do you think pregnant women should like be on a diet or they should just have a healthier lifestyle while they are pregnant? It depends on her current weight. So if she's overweight or, or if she's obese, she would have a different type of diet than a healthy pregnant woman. And if she's underweight, she would need more calories than a healthy pregnant woman. So my recommendation is never to be on a strict diet, but to eat according to how much weight you should gain. And if you need any extra help, you should talk to a nutritionist or a mm -hmm. dietitian or even speak to your doctor, as when you are pregnant, there are certain types of food you shouldn't eat, True. like raw meat, raw mm. fish, uh, certain types even of cheese. Even with the test we do? Uh, yes. What is it called? I, 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 they do the test. Mata'ana, I had an immune system for that, but I was afraid to eat raw. Yeah, you know, I was. I was like, I don't want anything to cause harm for my baby. So yeah, mm. I'm. I was the same as yeah. you. Yeah, I had the immune system. The doctor said you can, mm -hmm. but I was afraid. You know, I couldn't yeah. do it. Yani. I felt guilty. You know, yeah. like uh, tripping on this well, thing. No. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's best to talk to a doctor or a dietitian for guidance or for a special diet plan that they can follow to help them gain the exact amount of weight that they should gain mm -hmm. as recommended by their doctor. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a healthy range, it's recommended to gain between 11 to 16 kilos during your pregnancy. True. 11, 16. I'm going to say it. Okay, you don't want to know. 30. 30, first time, 25, second time. That's okay. <laughs> that's a lot. Actually, that's not okay. Maya, I'm not sure. Before, after, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me what you see, what you see when you see these pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. You tell me before we see oh, the pictures. Oh, okay. Um, well, when I look at my before picture, mm -hmm. I see someone who was unhealthy and now we can not self-confident. Mm. Mm. And wow. when I see my after I'm picture, sorry, there's a big difference. <laughs> a big 20 time. kilos difference. When I see the wow. after picture, um, I see that I was more confident. So when I in the before picture, I didn't have enough self-confidence to walk around on the beach without mm. covering up with a mm. towel. And all this was before delivery, before, before marriage. But I did, before. I did compete once after having my first baby, okay. and I actually won that competition. Ah, okay. So you can still do it after having kids. And my goal is to compete again in mm. the future, maybe mm. next year okay. or the year after, nice. when I have the time to really commit. What about your kids now? Do they like go to gym with you? Do they exercise? How do you manage your time uh, with them? So Everything, all these details. So it's all about having a balance between mm. uh, motherhood, working, and family. And what I try to do is to have a routine, the same mm -hmm. routine that I follow every day, the same schedule. It mm -hmm. makes it easier to manage your time. And my and kids... it makes it easier for your kids also exactly, to know your timing. To know the routine. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I encourage my kids to be active. So I enroll my kids in classes that they enjoy, including tennis, swimming, taekwondo. 
and my gym actually has a class for kids, so for, oh, nice. for uh, taekwondo for kids. Uh -huh. So what I do is I train at the same time, and they do taekwondo. And I encourage many parents to do the same thing, is to find a gym that has classes for kids, so their kids can be exercising, and they can work out at the same time uh -huh. as their kids, if, what, if they uh, need someone to watch their من kids. أي أعمار الـ يعني ممكن الأطفال يبلشوا يتمرنوا؟ برأيك حيالة حيالة عمر يعني like two three yeah. years old yeah and oh, it's that? encouraged for oh. for kids always to be active to walk to be outdoors to play to run okay. uh, to move around uh, to use their hands and their body and this helps them uh, it helps babies also walk better mm. learn how to run if they're always encouraged to move okay mm. Tap, eh. But as Allah, as she has an idea, but schools, they are working on everything related to sports. Here, I mean, in Lebanon. I know that schools usually have a PE program, a, a physical exercise program for kids. In Lebanon, they don't take it really yeah, that's like true. serious. Yeah, that's yeah, but yeah, that's the problem. True. We can see a big difference. Yeah, I think now there's more awareness, yeah, especially true. after COVID. More mm. people are are health conscious, true. and more people want to encourage exercise, especially for the younger generation, so that they can create uh, lifestyle habits for when they become older. Okay, I want to ask about um, you know like the um, button mm -hmm. when you deliver. Yeah, that's the perfect zone. Uh -huh. That it stays till the last minute. Yeah, you that's know, like true. the love handles, the uh, the belly, blah blah blah. Yeah, what and I think it's. Yani, I mean, she? there's a difference Sa? between a delivery la and the C-section. C -section. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what advices can you give to all the women who either delivered C-section mm -hmm. or they still have these love handles and these a little bit of tummy and they want yeah. to get rid of it Keep after them. like it's one cute. one year <laughs> of, <course not>. of <laughs> delivery. <laughs> except for shutting their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same approach for anyone who wants to lose weight. It's all about diet and exercise consisting of weightlifting and cardio, and finally consistency. So depending how much weight she gained during her pregnancy, mm -hmm. uh, she would have to work accordingly to her goals. So if she gained- But I mean she would do more abs? Uh, um, not necessarily. No? So unfortunately we cannot choose where we lose fat from. So mm -hmm. we cannot focus on only losing from the belly or doing something to lose Unless more from the belly. Unless we choose surgery. Yeah, and unless you do surgery, want. but yeah. when you yeah, yeah, when you lift weights, you don't have to do surgery because it's a natural way to shape and transform your body um, mm -hmm. without needing to do anything extreme like surgery. So she would just have to give it time, lots of consistency and uh, patience as well, and not mm -hmm. to give up. And okay. with me, it, with each pregnancy, it took me one year to lose all the weight and to kind of be like I was before. So I'm fine till now. Yeah. Because I have this uh, bad feeling about myself, you know, like That's I didn't yeah. lose all the weights that oh, I gained. Don't feel I still bad. have like five kilos. And, and I'm I would tell these women to remember that it took nine months to gain this weight it's and true. they have to give it at least nine months to true. a year mm -hmm. Before they nice. can lose the weight, I love yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna come off. Let's uh, talk about breastfeeding. We know, uh -huh. look, I mean, it helps to lose weight. Right? Yes, it does. Yeah, it does help. It can help a woman lose up to 500 calories wow. per day extra. Mm. So I do encourage women to breastfeed. Uh, however, I also encourage women to do what feels right for them. So if a woman is not able or she doesn't like mm. it, she shouldn't feel bad. What's best is that your baby is fed of and uh, doesn't it's mean true. you're not a good mother if you it's don't true. breastfeed. Mm -hmm. I love the way you are talking uh, seriously, Maya. Thank uh, you. You encourage women in every uh, aspect in life, let's say. Thank um, you. Um, uh, being, you know, like the um, taking this title in, in Forbes and blah, blah, blah. Um, what does it make you feel from the inside? Uh, happy, uh, because uh, helping people is my passion. And if I'm able to help just one person, I feel that I'm accomplishing my goals and my mission, especially because I was that person who was lost and becoming overweight and mm. there was no one to help me. So if I'm able to help someone or no matter how many people or how many women, 
then I feel very happy, very proud, and it encourages me to keep going on and keep trying to help as many people as possible. And I hope that I can use myself as an example, mm -hmm. that if I can do it, then anyone else can do it too. Mm -hmm. Are you a feminist? Yes, I am, of absolutely. Course. It's obvious. It is, but I mean, like, <laughs> would you encourage men like to go to your gym and do sports? Yes, sure, and, you know? I, I encourage everybody. Any gender, any age, any background, I encourage everyone uh, to exercise and it helps them live a better and healthier lifestyle. Maya Nassar Malouf, we were very happy to have you with us. Thank and you we're so for proud having of me. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep shining. Thank you.